If you have a 3D printer or know someone that does, there's probably a really good chance that you have seen one of these Bulbasaurs. A lot of people place succulents inside of them, which makes for a really cool item to have on your desk or in your office. I have been giving these out as gifts over the past year or so, and people have really seemed to enjoy them. The Bulbasaur design by Hitsman on Thingiverse is definitely one of my favorite things that I have printed, and with over 6800 likes and almost 50,000 downloads, it's clear I'm not the only one. But how do I make it better, or cooler, or at least different? I bring you the Bulbasaur Spinning Succulent. I also added full speed control so you can go in forward, you can go reverse, you can go at whatever speed that you want. Personally I think that when it's slower it looks the best, especially with these succulents. And I also added both stepper and servo versions and I'll talk about the pros and cons later but for now if you like what you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let me know your comments and thoughts below. Let's get started. So to start off, I'll show you guys how to make the servo version. So first I'll take my digital calipers, take some measurements of my servo, and then I'll go on to Thingiverse, download Hitman's design, and I'll bring that into Tinkercad. I'll increase the scale by 2.5 times so we can fit our succulent, and then I'll bring it into Fusion 360 and cut out our slot for our servo. Now that we have our design complete, I'll connect to my Prusa MK3i3 using Octoprint, Upload the file that I just sliced in Cura and go ahead and print it. Now that our Bulbasaur is complete, we'll need an enclosure for it to sit on. So I made this simple enclosure with slots for an on off switch, for power, and also for potentiometer. We also needed a lid for the enclosure, so I made this simple lid with a slot for the servo so that the Bulbasaur wouldn't slide around on top. And also I added some edges there so that the lid would also stay put. Once you have everything printed, you should insert your servo into the slot on the Bulbasaur, insert the servo into the slot on the lid, and then the lid should snap in place, but if not, you might want to look at your printer settings. Then you'll connect your succulent on top of your servo. For testing, I decided to use a simple servo tester. You can get these online for a dollar or two. Plug in five volts and test it out. Now, if you don't have a servo tester, you want a more permanent solution that you can put on a breadboard or a perf board. Then we have to look at the 555 timer IC. We'll be using it in simple A-stable mode. And luckily I already did all the calculations for you so you don't have to worry about all this math. From there I opened up Easy EDA and I got started on the circuit. I decided not to make a PCB for the circuit just because it, I didn't really feel like it needed one because it was so simple. But if you're just starting in Hobby Electronics, this project is a really good one just to get started with using 555 timers and wiring up things, using resistors and capacitors. So I definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to learn hobby electronics. And this is the final circuit, so if you are going to do this project, I'd recommend pausing here. From there, we'll grab our 10K potentiometer. We'll grab our 0.1 microfarad capacitor. We'll grab our 555 timer and our diode and all our resistors and all of our other components. We'll hook up 5 volts, we'll connect it up to our Bulbasaur, and we'll test it out. As you can see, it works pretty great, but the succulent isn't really centered on the shaft, so it's a little bit wobbly, but that's more just me being lazy and not spending the time to really dial it in. If you want a more permanent solution, you'll have to turn on your soldering iron. Grab a piece of perf board, grab all your components and start soldering them up.
You'll also have to solder in your potentiometer. And then once that's done, then you can go ahead and mount that into your enclosure and also mount the on off switch and connect everything up to a five volt power supply. Now that everything's all wired up, you can snap on your lid, plug in the power and turn it on. Once you start playing with the potentiometer in the back, you can adjust the speed to whatever speed you want. You can go really, really fast. You can go really slow. It's all up to you. So now that I showed you the servo version, I'll show you the stepper version now. I do think that the motion is a little bit more smoother with the stepper, but since it is a stepper, it does get a little bit hotter. And if you're printing with PLA, you have the potential to melt some of it. So anyways, I grabbed the dimensions of the stepper and I brought it into Tinkercad because I didn't really feel like dealing with STLs in Fusion 360 because for whatever reason, it's just super difficult for me. So I sliced it using Cura and sent it over to my Prusa i3. For the electrical design and easy EDA, it's a little bit more involved than the 555 timer, uh, but it, the good thing is that we're using kind of pre-made modules. So I'll use a ULN2003 motor controller uh, stepper motor controller uh, and I'll use an AT Tiny 85 which is a great little AVR based chip and we'll connect that into our our stepper motor so this is the final circuit so if you are going to be wiring it up on a breadboard or on a perf board I'd recommend pausing here then we'll grab our AT Tiny 85 grab our AVR programmer. This is just something that I use. You can get it from SparkFun. We'll open up our Arduino IDE with the software that I'll link in the description. And the big thing is just making sure that your board's set to ATtiny uh, and your clock is 1 megahertz. And then you'll go ahead and compile it and then you'll upload it to the board. Once it's uploaded, you'll connect up your on-off switch, you'll solder up your ATtiny, you'll connect to your ULN2003, you put everything into your enclosure. I just used a little adapter to connect to the shaft of the stepper, and then I turned on power. <laughs> 